Welcome to experiment 7, DC measurement. So connect the probe as shown, ground clip goes to the ground and probe tip goes to test point 6 DC volts. Now if you have a look at our oscilloscope we see our typical flat line which represents our DC voltage and we can see that the unit is turned on in auto setup mode. In the lower right hand corner we still get our volts RMS readout. We would like to change that to a DC readout as we like to measure volts DC. So in order to do that we press the button and go into the menu and change the readout from AC volts to DC volts. Now with the arrow keys I can choose from a wide selection of readouts and I choose VDC. Like this then I'll just release everything and the unit flips to volts uh, DC. The readout that we get is not correct at this time because we still need to set our ground reference. So we switch to input coupling and with the arrow keys we select ground. Now we let the unit go all the way to 5 millivolts and now the ground reference is set and if we just flip it back to DC volts we get a correct DC readout of 9 volts in this case. If you move the probe to test point 7, which is, which is just below test point 6, then you can see we have a lower voltage and if we move it to test point 8, which is below 7, then we get an even lower voltage and every time auto setup takes care of all the settings for us, even when measuring DC volts. Now what happens if we flip the alligator clip and the probe tip then we get a negative readout. So there is a minus sign in front of our readout. So the, the uh, oscilloscope can also measure negative DC voltages.